Today we're making cauliflower mac and gouda. I'm going to show you a half recipe because the original recipe in the recipe book was for a huge amount. So I'm showing you the half recipe. First start off with three cups of pasta. I'm using bows in this and you put this in lightly salted water and you're going to cook it until the noodles are tender. Once they are cooked, fish the noodles out with a slotted spoon and leave the pasta water in the pot. And set the noodles aside. And in the pasta water, you're going to cook your cauliflower. And it's half of a head of cauliflower cut up into bite-sized pieces. Then while cauliflower is cooking, take a large saucepan, put in about an eighth of a cup of butter, melt that and add to it about a clove or two cloves of minced garlic, about a half a teaspoon of salt. Stir that around and cook the butter and the garlic until the garlic starts to soften. To this you're going to add two and a half teaspoons, or sorry, two and a half tablespoons of all-purpose flour and stir that around until the, all the butter is absorbed and you try to get a smooth paste. Then you're going to add about two cups of milk to this and you're going to stir it over medium low heat until uh, it starts to thicken up and you may have to use a whisk here to get some of the lumps undone but as soon as it starts to heat up those lumps will come out quite nicely actually then you're going to add a half a teaspoon of ground mustard and about an eighth of a teaspoon of paprika and just stir that up and you can see how it's starting to get nice and thick. You should pretty much stir continuously. Then when it starts to be, when it is thickened, you're going to add about half a pound of Gouda cheese, which in this case is was about three cups grated, three to four cups grated Gouda cheese. And just stir that until it's melted and smooth and take it off the heat. And then you're going to put your cooked pasta into the sauce and stir it around. And then the cooked drained cauliflower. And stir that around until everything is coated with the cheese sauce. And then take a, about a half a cup of panko breadcrumbs and a tablespoon and a half or so of butter melted in the microwave, melt the butter in the microwave and just stir it up so that the crumbs are, are um, combined with the butter. Then put your cheese and pasta mixture in a dish, um, an oven safe dish, spread the butter crumbs on top. And then you're going to bake this at 350 degrees until it's heated through and the crumbs are toasty brown for about 20 minutes. So there it is, just out of the oven. This was a very good uh, dish. Really enjoyed it. I'm going to make it again. I usually make a cheese sauce for my cauliflower anyway. This way you have your pasta and the cheese and the cauliflower all in one. What's the difference in the intense? I don't know. Where campers sleep. <laughs>